global solution is required when we are addressing CO2 emissions from international aviation. And partnership and cooperation are key to our success. ACU is committed to pursue basket of measures to reduce the CO2 emissions from international aviation and to make the aviation sector more sustainable. Many states need technical assistance and capacity building to take action and contribute to emission reduction. Our collaboration with the European Union has been essential in addressing the sector's collective global aspirational goals. Many states are eager to take action but do not have the resources to do so. They require dedicated technical assistance in order to achieve these goals. IQ has been working very hard to enhance the capacity of our member states on all our strategic objectives and environmental protection is very high on that agenda. Under the No Country Left Behind initiative, we are seeking to help states achieve the full benefits of safe, secure and environmentally responsible global air transport. Our many partnerships with governments and international organizations, including the European Union, are instrumental and invaluable to the progress being achieved. Supported by European Union funding, the ICAO-European Union Partnership has been successfully supporting 14 member states in Africa and the Caribbean to strengthen their capacities to monitor, manage and reduce CO2 emissions from international aviation. The ICAO-European Union Partnership put in place the tools these member states need to set and work towards their voluntary goals and actions. Some states did not have the necessary expertise to measure existing CO2 emissions and set a baseline for future improvements so the partnership immediately resolved this important first step. The ICAO European Union Partnership is a first of its kind environmental project to support the development of voluntary action plans, setting up of aviation environmental systems that establish emission inventories and monitor aviation CO2 emissions and the implementation of measures to reduce aviation CO2 emissions. What made this project very special is the involvement of states in every single step. By taking ownership of the environmental issues, there is a shift in the institutional culture. States are now enthusiastic to take concrete actions. We support, they act. This is what capacity building is all about. We are pleased to see that in light of the successful implementation of these projects, many other states and international organizations want to be part of such initiatives. We take it as the best testimony that we are heading in the right direction. Civil aviation authorities in member states have been working under the guidance of the ICAO to improve fuel efficiency and reduce CO2 emissions. Thanks to the ICAO European Union project, we have been able to work closely with the main stakeholders in aviation to prepare Kenya's action plan and to develop a monitoring strategy for CO2 emissions reduction. Since May 2016, all 14 states selected under the ICAO European Union Partnership have been equipped with the Aviation Environmental System, also known as AES, an innovative tool that allows them to monitor the CO2 emissions from the aviation sector on a flight-by-flight -flight basis. Data on traffic and fuel consumption are collected by the states from their national airlines via unified format. The relevant data on international aviation is then aggregated to a national level by the tool which generates monthly CO2 reports to be submitted from the states to ICAO. In addition, the AES allows the states to use the data stored in the tool database to generate their own statistics or reports. Before the implementation of the AES, the civil aviation authorities did not have an efficient monitoring system and faced great challenges in the collection of data needed to assess CO2 emissions from international aviation. As a Kenyan airline with the largest international traffic rate, we are committed to reducing the fuel consumption of our fleet and to monitoring and reporting emissions to the Kenya Civil Aviation Authority. At two international airports in Cameroon and Kenya, the ICAO European Union project will fund the installation of solar panels and electrical ground power units that will supply aircraft at the gates with solar energy. 
In addition to the implementation of mitigation measures, the project is also funding feasibility studies to assess the potential of other initiatives for CO2's emissions reduction, such as the development of a sustainable production of alternative fuels in Burkina Faso, Dominican Republic, Kenya and Trinidad and Tobago. The feasibility study on alternative fuels will provide a decision-making tool to the government of Burkina Faso that may unveil new opportunities to the state to get access to cutting-edge innovations for a sustainable aviation sector in not only in Africa but also in the entire world. Sound results have been achieved after only two years since the launch of the ICAO European Union Partnership. The 14 selected states have developed comprehensive action plans on aviation emissions reduction, creating powerful synergies at a national level. Now these states also have a thorough monitoring, reporting and verification system for their CO2 emissions from aviation. The implementation of new initiatives such as solar power systems and gate electrification equipment at international airports, the improvement of air traffic management, the implementation of more efficient operations and feasibility studies on sustainable alternative fuels will become practical examples of concrete actions to reduce aviation CO2 emissions. With the availability of further financial contributions, ICAO will be able to replicate these successful projects in other states which will be crucial to meeting the ICAO's global aspirational goals and ensure that no country is left behind.